Good morning students. Welcome back to social class. I am very happy to meet you in this session. Are you fine students? I hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of God. Students, now we are learning geography part, is it? From geography part, we are learning geography lesson 4, India resources and industries, is it? From this lesson, which are the points we learned in previous class? Have you remember students? We learned about conventional energy sources and renewable energy sources. Is it? From conventional energy sources, we learned about thermal power and nuclear power. Is it? What are conventional energy sources? Thermal power and nuclear power. Is it? Then thermal power. The thermal power is generated with the help of some of the fossil fuels. Is it? For example, coal, diesel, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Okay. Then, students, in which year the National Thermal Power Corporation was established? Very good. In the year 1975. Okay. Then, at, at present, how many uh, coal-based National Thermal Power Corporations are there? Very good. There are 13 coal-based National Thermal Power Corporations are there in India. Is it? Then, how many gas and liquid-based National Thermal Power Corporations are there in India? Very good. Seven gas and liquid based national thermal power corporations are there in India. Okay. Then uh, in India, some of the states has the thermal power stations. For example, Assam, Bihar, Jharkhand, Satishkar, Mizoram, West Bengal, some parts of Tamil Nadu. Is it? These are the some of the uh, thermal power stations in India. Okay. Then, next we learned about nuclear power. Yes, nuclear power, it is generated through uh, some of the minerals like uranium, thorium, etc. Is it? Students, now I am asking one important one-word question. Uh, in which place the first nuclear power station was set up? Very good. Tarapur. Okay. Tarapur. Where is Tarapur? Tarapur is near Mumbai. Yes, it. it is one of the important one-word question. Uh, uh, in the first nuclear power station was set up at Tarapur near Mumbai. It was set up in the year 1967. Okay, 1967. Is it? Then, <coughs> next we learned about the renewable energy resources. Renewable energy resources. Students, have you remember what are renewable energy resources? Very good. Hydropower, solar energy, wind energy, biomass energy, tidal and wave energy. These are the important renewable energy resources. Is it? From here we land up, first of all we land about hydropower. Hydropower is generated from very good water. Okay, from water the hydropower was generated. It is one of the important um, um, hydroelectricity is used to uh, in the development of the economic condition and also it is one of the non-polluting source of energy. Is it? Uh, then the first hydroelectric power station is set up in the year, very good, 1897. Okay, the first hydroelectricity power station was established in uh, 1897 at the place of Darjeeling. Okay, at the place of Darjeeling. Then uh, next one is the solar energy, is it? Solar energy, it is uh, generated from sunlight. The solar energy is generated from sunlight. Okay, then... The Solar Energy Corporation of India, it, it, its headquarters is at New Delhi. Okay, its headquarters is at New Delhi. The next we learned about wind energy. Is it wind energy? The wind energy is generated from wind turbines with the help of using wind turbines. The wind energy was generated. Okay, it is also non-polluted uh, source of energy. Okay, then uh, next we learned about the biomass energy. Is it? Next we learned about the biomass energy. Biomass energy. The biomass energy is produced through very good biodegradable materials. Is it? From biodegradable materials, the biomass energy was produced. Is it? What are bio, uh, biodegradable materials? For example, animal dung, kitchen waste, agricultural waste, city waste. These are biodegradable materials. Okay. From these biodegradable materials, the bio, uh, biomass energy was generated. Then finally, we learned about tidal and wave energy. Is it tidal and wave energy? Uh, the tidal and wave energy is produced through the ocean. That means ocean waves. 
ocean energy and ocean waves. Mostly the tidal waves are produced uh, uh, from Gulf of Cambe, then Gulf of Kutch, Sundarbans, these areas mostly they produce the tidal wave energy. Then the wave energy mostly, the wave power energy power plant is set up uh, in the uh, areas of Vlinjam. Vlinjam is in Tirvanandapuram. Okay, Vlinjam is in Tirvanandapuram. Followed by Andamana Nicobar Islands uh, also set up the uh, wave energy power plant. Okay, these are the things we learned in the previous class. Is it students? And also I gave a few question answers. I hope you learned that all question answers also. Students, day-to-day uh, -day portion you have to learn. Okay. Then, now let us come forward to today's class. Okay. Today I am going to teach about industries. In the previous classes we learned about some of the resources. Today I am going to teach about industries. Okay. Industries. Industries. Industries are refers to the activities of converting raw materials into finished products. Industries. Industries refers to it is the activities of converting raw materials into finished products. Okay. This sector that means the converting raw material into finished product sector is called as the value addition sector. This sector is called as the value addition sector. Okay. Then on the basis of the source of raw materials, the industries are classified into three types. Okay. On the basis of the source of raw materials, the industries are classified into three types. They are agro-based industries, forest-based industries, and mineral based industries okay listen very careful students on the basis of the source of raw materials the industries are classified into three types they are agro based industries forest based industries and mineral based industries okay today i am going to teach about these different types of industries okay first of all i am going to teach the first type that is agro-based industries. What is the first type of industry students? Agro-based industries. Okay. First of all, I am going to teach the agro-based industries. Okay. These agro-based industries draw their raw materials from agricultural sector. Listen very careful students. The agro-based agro -based industries are get the raw materials from agricultural sector. Okay, the following parts are mainly discussed the agro-based industries in India. Mainly, the important agro-based industries are cotton textile industry, jute industry, silk industry and sugar industry. Okay, listen very careful students. What are agro-based industries? Cotton textile industry, jute industry, silk industry and sugar industry. These are important agro-based industries. Okay. First of all, I am going to teach the important agro-based industries. Okay. The first important agro-based industries is cotton textile industry. <coughs> the first important agro-based industry is cotton textile industry. Okay. It is a very, very important five more question. So, listen very careful. Okay, students. The first one is cotton textile industry. Okay. The cotton textile industry, it is one of the broad term uh, which includes cotton, jute, wool, silk, synthetic fiber, textiles. These are including in the cotton textile industry. Okay. India is the second largest cotton textile industry in the world. India, is, India has many cotton textile industry. It is the second important uh, largest cotton sector in the world. Okay. The first cotton textile mill was established in the year 1818. The first cotton textile mill was established in the year 1818 at the place of Fort Hiloster near Kolkata. At the place of Fort Hiloster, it is in near Kolkata. Okay. Mostly, most of the employers, uh, people are get employment through these cotton textile industries. For example, through handloom, handicraft, small power, power loom units, 
through these areas most of the empl employees get the job uh, this through this cotton textile industries okay and then rural areas and urban areas people also get a job through this cotton textile industry then india is the third largest producer of cotton and it has the largest loom or can rising spindles in the world okay at present cotton textile industry is the largest organized modern industry in india okay india is the third largest producer of cotton and also it produce the at present cotton textile industry is the largest organized modern industry in india okay the ginning process is mostly used to separate cotton seed from cotton the separating cotton seed from cotton that process is called ginning okay that process is called ginning then uh, the higher concentration of textile mills is around in mumbai so it is called as manchester of india so it is called as manchester of india okay then at present mostly the black soils areas are used to cultivate cotton uh, the important uh, suitable states to cultivate cotton is maharashtra because maharashtra has humid climate and also uh, mumbai port is used to uh, export and import these cotton uh, textiles items then uh, availability of hydro power is there good market facilities are there transport facilities are there most of the textile industries are there so maharashtra is one of the most important state suitable for cultivate cotton and uh, to uh, producing this cotton textile most of the cotton textile industries are um, rotate uh, followed in the areas of maharashtra okay then the major cotton textile industries are concentrated uh, in the state of maharashtra already i told and followed by some other state also has some of the cotton textile industries for example gujarat west bengal uttar pradesh and tamil nadu this state also have the cotton textile industries in tamil nadu coimbatore is the most important center uh, to cotton textile industries for example out of 435 Uh, mills uh, in the, tamil nadu has 200 cotton textile mills out of in india total totally 435 cotton textile mills are there from here 200 cotton textile mills are located in tamil nadu so tamil nadu is called as the manchester of south india tamil nadu is called as the manchester of south, in, south india so, okay S uh, sorry coimbatore coimbatore is called as the manchester of south india and also some other states also has the cotton textile industries for example erode tirupur karur chennai tirunelveli madurai thoothukudi chelam virudhunagar these uh, district also uh, some of the has some of the important cotton textile industries okay then uh, the second important agro based industry is the jute industry okay the second important agro based industry is the jute industry okay students jute it is the low priced fiber jute is the low price fiber it is the jute is mostly used for making some of the uh, package materials for example uh, with the help of jute they are making gunny bags okay gunny bags it is one of the important products through jute textiles okay uh, nowadays uh, jute is mostly used for some of the uh, textile areas for example uh, jute and wool the cotton and wool they are using jute cotton and wool to produce some of the cloth items so the jute is used to the textile industry also then uh, jute is the second important textile industry in india after cotton textiles the first one is cotton textiles jute is the second important textile industry in india okay it is one of the golden fiber one of important one word question <coughs> jute is the golden fiber okay jute is the golden fiber then 
The first jute mill in India was established as Risa near uh, Kolkata. Okay, listen very careful students. The first jute mill in India was established at Risra. It is near Kolkata. The first jute mill was established in the year 1854. Okay, the first jute mill was established in the year 1854. Okay, the Englishman George Auckland who was established in the first jute mill. Okay, during the British's uh, during the British's ruling time, this particular jute mill was established. That means it was established one of the Englishman George Auckland. Okay, then jute is the uh, second. India is the second important uh, country to uh, jute exporting country. India is the second important jute exporting country next to Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the first place. India is the second place. Okay. With the help of jute, most of the things were producing. For example, gunny bags, canvas, pack sheets, jute web, carpets, cordage. Cordage means um, it is a type of ropes used for uh, some of the ships. Okay. Hussain's and twins. Hussain's and twins means strong thread. These are the things mostly produced with the help of jute. Okay. And also uh, the plastic furniture, insulation, uh, bleached fiber. These also produced with the help of jute. Okay. Then carpet, blankets. These also mostly produced with the help of jute. Okay, then the major jute producing areas are West Bengal. West Bengal is the major jute producing area. Okay, and also Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Assam, Satiskar, Odisha. These states also some of the important jute goods producing areas. Okay. Can you understand students? Then National Jute Board. It is its headquarters is at Kolkata. Okay. National Jute Board. Its headquarters is at Kolkata. Okay. Then CSTRA. It is one of the research institute. CSTRA. It is one of the research institute. This in research institute is uh, developmental activities related to silk technology. This particular institute is related to silk technology. Okay. This particular uh, institute is established in the year 1983. The CSTRA. It is one of the research institute. This institute is established in the year 1983 by Central Silk Board, okay, and Ministry of Textiles, okay. Through these areas, uh, board uh, together join and form this institute. It is uh, mainly uh, formed uh, by the government of India. Its headquarters is Bangalore, okay. It is set up uh, by the government of India. Its headquarters is Bangalore, okay. Can you understand students? Okay, then the third important agro-based industry is the silk industry. Okay, the third important agro-based industry is the silk industry. Okay, silk industry. India has a well-known production of silk. Okay, in ancient time itself, uh, they are producing more silk. Because of exporting and importing silk, the ancient uh, people constructed road also. So, that particular road was called Silk Road. In the previous lessons, we learned, is it? Silk Road. For the purpose of uh, exporting and importing, they constructed the road. That road is called Silk so, in same time itself, the people produced uh, silk and also they formed the silk industry also. India is the second largest producer of silk next by China. Okay. India is the second largest producer of silk. The first place is in China. Okay. Then from India, Karnataka is the largest producer of silk from India. Karnataka is the largest producer of silk. Okay, followed by uh, mostly uh, other important uh, silk product producers uh, areas are West Bengal, Jammu Kashmir, Bihar, 
ஜார்க்கண்ட் சட்டீஸ்கார் உத்தரப்பிரதேஷ் பஞ்சாப் அசாம் அண்ட் தமிழ்நாடு திஸ் ஆர் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபாலோயிங் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் டு ப்ரொடியூஸ் த சில்க் ஓகே தென் த ஆஃபீஸ் ஆஃப் டெவலப்மெண்ட் கமிஷனர்ஸ் திஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஹேண்ட்லூம் கமிஷனர் ஓகே இட் வாஸ் செட் அப் இன் த இயர் டுவெண்ட்டியத் நவம்பர் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் இட் வாஸ் செட் அப் இன் த இயர் டுவெண்ட்டியத் நவம்பர் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் இட்ஸ் ஹெட் அட் நியூ டெல்ஹி its headquarters at new delhi okay then the last important agro based industry is the sugar industry okay the last important agro based industry is the sugar industry okay students sugar industry sugar mostly sugar is produced from sugar cane sugar beets or any other crop which have sugar content sugar is mostly produced from sugar cane sugar beets and any crops which have sugar content okay mainly uh, the sugar cane is most one of the main important source of sugar okay sugar cane is one of the most important source of sugar okay at present uh, the sugar is the second largest agro based industry in india after cotton textile the jute also the second largest agro based industry likewise the sugar industry also one of the second largest agro based industry in india the first important agro based industry is very good cotton textile okay the second one is jute and sugar okay uh, india is the second largest producer of sugar after brazil in the world india is the second largest producer of sugar after brazil that means the first place is brazil the second place is um, india okay the mostly the sugar industry was located near the sugar cane growing areas because it is weight losing items the sugar cane is one of the weight losing items uh, so only the uh, sugar uh, content will Uh, get decline so because of that mostly the sugar cane sugar industry were uh, located near the sugar cane uh, growing areas in india uttar pradesh is the largest producer of sugar so uttar pradesh alone 50% of sugar were produced uttar pradesh is the largest producer of sugar uh, uttar pradesh alone producing 50% of country's total sugar okay then followed by maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh tamil nadu bihar punjab gujarat haryana madhya pradesh these states also produced this sugar okay these uh, yeah, states also has the sugar industry and these areas also cultivated sugar cane okay then totally uttar pradesh and including this uh, all the states together produced 90% of sugar and these all states have 90% of sugar sugar mills and sugar production okay can you understand students these are the agro based industries okay the second important types of industry is the forest based industry listen very careful students the second important agro um, um, industry is the forest based industries have you remember students the, which is the first important industry agro based industry first important type is agro based industries then the second one is forest based industries okay now i am going to teach the forest based industries listen very careful students forest it provide us different types of materials like that particular materials are used as raw material for some of the industries mostly paper industry lac sports goods plywood etc okay these are the industries mostly um, they are provided the forest provided raw materials through these all industries okay from here one of the important forest based industry is the paper industry from all these industries one of the important forest based industry is the paper industry okay now i am going to explain one of the important forest based industries that is paper industry okay listen students paper industry it produce uh, different types of papers 
okay the paper industry produce different type of papers their particular papers are used in various areas for example the papers are used as uh, sheet papers paper boxes tissues paper bags uh, stationery envelopes uh, these areas used to this particular paper and also uh, some of the printed paper products also produced through paper industry for example uh, books periodicals periodical means magazine okay and newspapers also produced through paper industry okay in india mostly soft wood is used to produce paper okay the soft wood especially the news print and high class printing papers are uh, produced with the help of soft wood okay with the help of soft wood the papers uh, papers or magazines books newspapers are produced okay now see the picture students this is the paper industry in india okay this is the paper industry in india uh, the first paper mill of india was started in the year 1812 listen very careful students the first paper mill of india was started in the year 1812 at serampur serampur is in west bengal okay serampur is in west bengal okay then this particular first successful effort was made in the year 1867 it is made in the year 1867 then after that they are uh, set up uh, many um, that paper mills for example in the areas of um, baliganj near kolkata they set up the paper mills then uh, the some of the raw materials are used to produce paper for example wood pulp bamboo salai sabai uh, sabai grasses base paper bakeshia these are the things mostly used to produce paper okay then in india west bengal is the largest producer of paper okay west bengal in india west bengal is the largest producer of paper in in, in the country followed by maharashtra madhya pradesh odisha and tamil nadu okay followed by madhya pradesh odisha and tamil nadu okay then national news print and paper mill it is uh, located at uh, nepa nagar nepa nagar is uh, in the uh, uh, state of madhya pradesh okay nepa nagar uh, it is in the district of barganpur uh, it uh, in the in the state of madhya pradesh okay the national news print paper mills okay can you understand students these are the forest based industries okay the one, one, only one important industry we are given in our book that is paper industry okay then the third type is the mineral based industries i will teach the next class uh, students i hope you understood about the agro based industries and forest based industries uh, can you understand students shall we recall the points students now we learned about india's industries is it industries that means it refers to the activities of converting raw materials into finished products is it then um, industries are classified into how many types very good three types is it industries are classified into three types what are the three types of industries very good agro based industries forest based industries and mineral based industries okay can you understand students what are the three types of industries agro based industries forest based industries and mineral based industries today we learned about the first two types is it students have you remember today we learned about the first two types of industries that is agro based industries and forest based industries okay the next class i will teach the mineral based industries first we learned about the agro based industries is it agro based industries agro based industries are um, draw their materials from the agricultural sectors is it agricultural sectors then what are agro based industries very good cotton textile industry jute industries silk industries and the last one is the sugar industry okay these are the agro based industries okay from here first we learned about the cotton textile industry it is one of the important five mark question is it the first cotton textile mill was established uh, at fort closer near kolkata in the year 1818 
is it first the cotton textile it was uh, established in the uh, areas of uh, cloister it is in kolkata uh, in which year the first cotton textile mill was established very good 1818 in the year 1818 the first cotton textile mill was established most of the employees are get employment through most of the people were get a job through this cotton textile industry they are doing works uh, hand loom works handicraft work uh, small power loom works these are the works where the people were doing through cotton textile industry okay at present india has uh, cotton textile industry and also largest organized modern industries also has in india okay then ginning it is one of the important process to separating cotton seed from cotton okay then uh, mumbai one of the important place it is called as the manchester of india cotton producing area is mumbai and most of the cotton textiles are located in mumbai so mumbai is called as manchester of india okay then maharashtra is suitable for cultivating cotton because maharashtra has black soil black soil is suitable for cultivating cotton is it students so maharashtra has black soil so maharashtra uh, is one of the important state to cultivate uh, cotton and also uh, in maharashtra mumbai also in maharashtra is it so uh, mumbai has the uh, port facilities hydro power stations are there then market facilities are there transport facilities are there humid climate is there so uh, there mostly the cotton is produced and they formed the cotton textile industries also okay then uh, followed uh, followed by some other state also uh, produced cotton and they formed the cotton textile industry for example gujarat west bengal uttar pradesh tamil nadu also the important state from here uh, in tamil nadu coimbatore is the most important center to produce cotton textile and uh, cotton textile industries also uh, totally in india has uh, 435 cotton mills from there 200 mills are located in Uh, Coimbatore okay in Tamil Nadu in the place of Coimbatore so Coimbatore is called as the Manchester of South India Coimbatore is called as the Manchester of South India Mumbai is called as Manchester of India Coimbatore is called as Manchester of South India okay can you understand students the differentiation of these two Mumbai is called as Manchester of India uh, Coimbatore is called as Manchester of South India Coimbatore or Tamil Nadu okay the next we learned about the jute industry okay jute industry it is one of the low priced fiber this is the golden fiber this is jute is the golden fiber mostly with the help of jute some of the package materials were uh, produced too, like gunny bags okay some of the package materials were produced and also some of the items they produced through uh, jute for example gunny bags canvas pack sheets jute web uh, carpets cordage hasains and twins these are the things were produced with the help of uh, jute okay the first jute mill was established at, at risra it is in kolkata the first jute mill in india was set up in the year 1854 okay 1854 this particular mill is uh, established Uh, by the one of the english man whose name is george agland george agland only established the first jute mill in the year 1854 at kolkata okay at kolkata okay then carpet and blankets also produced with the help of uh, jute carpet and blanket which also produced with the help of jute okay west bengal one is one of the major jute producing state in india west bengal okay one of the major jute producing area followed by some other states also produce few jute okay then uh, the national jute board its headquarters is at kolkata okay one word question national jute board its headquarters is at kolkata okay likewise cstra it is one of the research institute uh, this activities is related to silk technology this particular institution was established in the year 
okay this particular uh, research institute is established in the year 1983 its headquarters is at bangalore okay its headquarters is at bangalore okay then the next one is the silk industry next we learned about the silk industry is yes, it silk industry india is the second largest producer of silk next to china India is the second largest producer of silk next to China. In ancient time itself, they produced silk. Is it so? Because of that, they constructed the silk road. Is it students? Then in India, Karnataka is the largest producer of silk. In India, Karnataka is the largest producer of silk. So followed by some other states also produced silk. Okay. Then finally, we learned about the ag sugar industry. Finally, we learned about the sugar industry. Is it sugar industry uh, with the help of sugar cane, sugar beets or any other crop with has the sugar content, the sugar was produced. Mostly, sugar cane is the main source of sugar. Okay, mostly sugar cane is the most uh, important source of sugar. India is the second largest, uh, sorry, sugar is the second largest agro-based industry. The first agro-based industry is cotton. Second one is jute and sugar. Okay, both are the second largest agro-based industries. Okay, India is the second largest producer of sugar. India is the, so in the world, India is the second largest producer of sugar after Brazil. The first place is Brazil. Okay, then Uttar Pradesh. In India, Uttar Pradesh is the largest producer of sugar. So, Uttar Pradesh alone, 50% of sugar where they are producing, followed by some other states also produced sugar. More totally, 90% of sugar where produced some of the uh, states like Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Gujarat, Karyana, Madhya Pradesh. 90% of mills also located in these particular states. Okay. Then finally, we learned about the forest-based industries. He said forest-based industries. That means forest provide different types of materials used for raw materials for certain industries. That is called forest-based industries. One of the important forest-based industries is the paper industry. Okay. Paper industry. Paper. Paper industry produces some of the different types of papers uh, for uh, such as uh, sheet paper, paper boxes, tissue paper, paper bags, stationary papers, envelopes, etc. And also printed paper products also produced through paper industry. For example, books, periodicals, that means some magazine, some other newspapers also produced with the help of paper industry. Okay. Mostly soft wood only mostly used to produce the paper. Okay. The first paper mill of India was started in the year 1812. The first paper mill of India started in the year 1812. It was in West Bengal. Okay, at Sarambur. Sarambur is in West Bengal. Okay, then and also in 1867, uh, the first effort was made, successful effort was made in 1867. Um, the Royal Bengal mill, mill paper mills was uh, set up in the year 1867 it was set up in near Kolkata okay Baligans it is near Kolkata okay then uh, some of the raw materials were used to produce paper uh, for example wood pulp bamboo salai sabai grasses waste paper and bagasia were mostly used to produce papers okay but from here in India West Bengal is the largest producer of paper in India, West Bengal is the largest producer of paper followed by Madhya Pradesh, Odisha and Tamil Nadu. Okay. Then, National Newsprint Paper Mills. It is uh, located in Napa Nagar. Napa Nagar, it is in the district of Barganpur. Barganpur is in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Barganpur is in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Can you understand students? The third important type is mineral based industry. That one I will teach the next class. Okay. Now, I'll take a book, turn the exercise pages. I'll take a book and turn the exercise pages, students. Then, um, Roman number three. Roman number three. Mention the major areas of jute production in India. Answer the following question briefly. Sixth question. First five questions already I gave. Uh, the seventh question also I gave. Six question, sixth question alone I want to give. Now you have to mark the sixth question. Mention the major areas of jute production in India. 
now alla turn turn page number 179 page number 179 sorry page number 120 okay 100 and uh, sorry 180 page number 180 first paragraph first paragraph that uh, first line the major jute producing areas are in west bengal west bengal then uh, one line after Tittagar, Jagatgarh, Bajpad, uh, Hara and Badeswar are the chief centers of jute, jute industry. Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Assam, Satiskar and Odisha are the other jute producing areas. Close the bracket. That much you mark. Then Roma number 5 answer the following in a paragraph. Roma number 5, answer the following in a paragraph. Uh, first question, write about the distribution of cotton textile industries in India. It is one of the important five more questions. Okay, public exam question. Write about the distribution of cotton textile industries in India. Then, turn page number 178 and 179. Okay, 178 and 179. Uh, from there, agro-based industries heading, uh, next first heading, cotton textile industry, cotton textile industry heading from there to fully, that blue color box also need to land. Okay, students, you have to land that blue color box also, that page, cotton textile industry fully, then 179, page number 179, there also two paragraphs are there, that fully you have to land. It is one of the important public exam question. Okay, five more question. Important public exam question. You have to learn that fully line by line. Okay, students, one word question also there. You have to prepare the one word question also. Okay, then, then uh, from distinguish also two questions are there. Agro-based industries and mineral-based industry, jute industry and sugar industry, two questions. Question number three and four, two questions are there. That also you have to learn. You refer the guide. Okay, distinguish questions, you have to refer the guide. Okay, students. Then fifth question also, conventional energy and unconventional energy. That one I will give the next class. Okay, students. Then map question also there. The next class I will give all the book exercises. Then at the continuation of this lesson also, I will teach the next class. Okay, students. You have to learn all these question answers. We will meet the next class. Thank you, students.